Hi and welcome. This is Felicity Heffernan from Property Loan Advisor with tips and strategies to help you grow your property portfolio. One question that crops up really regularly from investors is, do I have too many properties for a loan because the bank has just said no? It crops up when the investor has just negotiated to buy their second, third or fourth property and it's usually very inconvenient. Now there are four main reasons why the bank may say no. The number one reason is serviceability. Most lenders will only consider market rent for a property. Any other income that's received, such as holiday income or option fee, would be considered extraordinary income and is not taken into their calculations. The bank confirms market rent with a letter of rent potential from the agent or a signed tenancy agreement or the latest month's rental statement from a licensed agent. The second major reason is that the gearing is too high. The best example that I have of portfolio of being too high is that when you have all your properties with the borrowings over 80%. It's great for the investor because there's very little money in the deal, not so good for the bank because they're risk adverse and will always be looking to get that ratio down. The third reason is the mortgage insurer. Now they generally come into play when the LVR is over 80% for a full doc loan and 60% for a low doc loan. Now they insure the bank against any loss should the loan go into default and the property is sold off as a loss. The mortgage insurers now have introduced an additional method of assessing loans which is called credit scoring. The credit scoring system is likened to Google's algorithm. We all know it exists but we can only guess how it works. And this is why people should never rely on a pre-approval and should always seek advice from their legal professional to ensure that they've got an adequate cooling off period when arranging finance for their potential purchases. The fourth reason is valuation. A valuation may not be valued at what one believes that it is actually worth. In fact, it can even vary from individual valuer to valuer. If the valuer decides that he does not like the location or how a particular building may have been constructed, it will reflect in the valuation report. And if the property scores low in the valuation report, a lender may decline the loan or ask for more deposit monies to be placed up front to cater for the risk. This is Felicity Heffernan from Property Loan Advisor with tips and strategies to help you grow your property portfolio.